add handwritten notes to office documents on the fly. Would you like to add notes by hand without any additional software, plugins or unreliable programs? Well this video tutorial will show you how you can do this within minutes of being shown what to do. This tutorial will show you how to make annotations to Office 2010 documents using the whiteboard pen tools. Your students can focus on the content of your presentations as you add handwritten notes to Word and Excel documents. Let's start by looking at getting Windows to convert your handwriting into text in Office 2010. You can write notes by hand and get Windows to convert your handwriting into text. Here's what it looks like in practice. I've got Word 2010 open here, but it will work with PowerPoint, Excel and other files too. To open the handwriting input panel, go to Start All Programs and then click on the Accessories folder and in there you'll see another folder, Tablet PC and it's Tablet PC Input Panel. You need to know that I'm using the touchpad on my laptop to write in the pen input panel here. I'm not using the whiteboard pens and consequently my writing is pretty awful but the software built into Windows does a very good job of recognising what I write as I go along. Notice that even though I am missing out dots on some of the I's and failing to cross all of the T's the software is still managing to understand what I'm writing. writing or print the words, whichever you are more comfortable with. You just need to take a little more care when writing in capitals. There is also a brilliant extra for maths and science teachers called the Maths Input Panel. This recognition panel is built into Windows and it converts handwritten math symbols into text. Sometimes when you do not need the extra sophistication of handwriting recognition, you just want to be able to annotate Word, Excel or PowerPoint documents. The steps you need to take are reasonably straightforward. In, for example, Word, click on the Review tab, then choose Start Inking. You'll see a selection of pens colours, nib sizes and an eraser and even a highlighter tool. You can use these with your whiteboard pen or even just your finger. If you want to go back to entering text then just hit escape and you can carry on typing words again. And finally, if you've always wanted to be able to annotate PDF documents, for example you may want to draw your student's attention to certain parts of a past paper, then here's the solution for you. Just open the PDF in Foxit Reader. This program has only recently been installed onto the school system. It replaces the Acrobat Reader you've been used to using to open PDF documents, but it contains some very useful additional features. Open the document you need in Foxit and just click on the drawing tab to see the tools that you now have available.
hope you've enjoyed using these easy ways to handwrite annotations and to use handwriting recognition on your documents. Thanks for watching this quick guide.